Greetings. Ori Re Funowo. Good tidings to you. I pray that you are feeling awake, aware, and elevated in mind, body, and spirit, wherever you are, and whatever may be happening around you. I share it. I share it. I share it. I am Baba Uma, Oluranche, MSA, voice of the MSA, member of the Ishoro Traditional Council of Chiefs, and Baba Lao of Iliawo Orisha. I greet you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I meant to <clears throat> uh, do this video actually back in February, uh, but I've been committed to another project and so kind of behind. So I'm going to post this video for uh, February in the um, IFA gallery, the blog gallery. Today is um, April 4th, uh, Oshe, Ojo Oshe. But when I post this, I'll post it in the uh, gallery for February. I'll do part two of this video uh, and post it for March. And then I'll do a third video and post it for April. So if you go to the, the website and to the gallery to uh, look for this video, then uh, know that it's gonna be posted for February, then March. Uh, the next part two, and then uh, I'll do another video for uh, April, if all goes well. Let's jump in. Ifa is a traditional formula for how to live in the world. It is a guide to bridging the barrier between the material and the spiritual worlds. It's a vehicle for a pres pres purposeful and successful journey in the Oja, the marketplace. In telling the story of the Ifa historical tradition, the history of the beginning, I always start with the moment when the Oro, the Ashe of Oludumare, became self-aware, manifested consciousness, sentience, and became the entity that we call Oludumare. It is in this moment that the aura, pure, undifferentiated energy, passes into the physical realms and becomes Ela, formless, undifferentiated, energetic potential, the realm of infinite possibility, ready to manifest as creation. In that moment, differentiation and therefore polarity begin to emerge. It is in that moment of awareness when Olodumare became aware of itself as the Oro, the Ashe, the realm of infinite possibility and potential, that the first emotion ever experienced by a sentient being was manifested. And I say, that that first emotion ever experienced by a sentient being was love, self-love, the love of self. Now note here, um, we're using the limitations of our human language and thought references to try and grasp, describe, and explain that which by its very nature cannot be fully grasped, described, or explained from our limited human perspective. But we understand what we mean by these words, so we use these words to try and bring ourselves into a common perception of things. The sacred oracles of Ifa do not speak explicitly of love, not in any direct way, but it is implicit in most of what human beings are expected to do and how we are expected to live according to the sacred Odu Ifa. In the Yoruba worldview, the dynamic interplay of such opposites as heaven and earth, day and night, masculine and feminine, 
material and immaterial, physical and metaphysical, body and soul, life and death, giving and receiving, success and failure, uh, descendants and progenitors, ancestors, uh, hot and cold, left and right, humility and arrogance, all of these clearly point to the existence of the polarity of love and hate. And you and I experience these emotional uh, polarities in our daily lives. We witness them in the Oja. So this dawn of consciousness then is a moment of tremendous power that precedes what we what is called the big bang of the physical world, the moment of creation. Love is an intense feeling of deep affection. The word love actually comes from the Latin root libet, meaning it is pleasing. When the oro the primordial energetic source of everything, the ashe of old Mare, became self-aware, the first feeling, emotion, that emerged from the ashe was libet. It is pleasing. And in Yoruba, we say ife, uh, love. And we have expressions in words like uh, otani wun, uh, there is no love loss between them. I uh, say ife, love feast, lion uh, ife, loveless, nife, uh, loving, and ishe uh, ife, loving kindness. So, Olodumade's expression of this powerful emotion is so profound that the creator ordained that love should be one of the most, one of the only things that cannot be commanded. He said, even Olodumare cannot command our love, for love by its very nature must be given freely from the heart. Only love that is given freely from the heart carries the ashe ami, the energy signature of the primordial, divine, spiritual love that was experienced in the beginning and given to us as a gift that we also might experience its power, its full power and beauty. It is this primordial love that gives birth to Olodumare's determined idea to experience the fullness of the realm of infinite possibility, the fullness of itself. It is this determined idea that in turn gives rise to the manifestation of Olofi, Olofi Dumare, the creator aspect of the Ashe, and to the process of creation itself. It is this very real sense, love, it is pleasing, that lies at the very root of creation and of your and my existence. Look at what the God of the Bible says uh, of his creation, right? In the, in the book of Genesis, quote, and God saw everything that he had made and behold, it was pleasing, it was very good. And there was the evening, and there was the morning of the sixth day. Love, it is pleasing. It is this energy of love that lies at the heart of the good condition ordained by Olodumare for every human being to experience, expressed in Odu Iwari, uh, Irosu, uh, Irosu Wari, the 78th um, sacred Odu, where it says that we will continue to live and die, that we will continue to journey from heaven to earth, 
and from earth to heaven until we have created the good condition for every human being. Can you imagine the creation of a loveless creator, an all-powerful sentient being who was passionless, unloving, unfeeling, heartless, and cold? Could such a being create this beautiful system of interlocking harmonious manifestations of reality that you and I witness and experience each and every day of our lives. The first love was and is self-love. The ashe in its sentient form felt love of self as it was in the beginning, so it is with the architecture of your and my nature. Just as love originated from within the ashe, was first directed back towards itself, toward the ashe, and then manifested outward to the differ differentiated realm of created things, so to our capacity to love others must begin with the love of self. Now, we're not talking about some kind of narcissistic pathology, you know, where uh, you have a grandiose view of yourself, uh, your talent, your appearance, or your, tr your resources, where you go about your life craving and expecting the admiration of others, uh, nor are we talking about the kind of sensual or sexual love that emerges from your biological nature, but these are not the original form of love, nor are these the most powerful kind of love. We're talking about the kind of self-love that emerges from an inner sense of your spiritual nature and of your continuous connection to the source of your existence. This sense of connection, isopo, we've talked about that in previous videos. This sense of connection, isopo, to the source is present in every newborn child and awaits the tone of love to resonate from the voices that surround it, from its parents, from its siblings, for its own sense of isopo to be quickened. Once quickened, it will seek to grow to its fullest potential into a heart big enough to care for a world, a heart big enough to bring about the good condition ordained by Olodumare for every human being to experience. Most parents worldwide instinctively shower their babies with this love. Too many don't. And even for those who do, you know, times and circumstance change and, and sometimes love does not manifest itself in the way that it should. When children do not receive this early nurturance into the love of self, their ashe ami is more susceptible to cracks and their spiritual powers remain weak, undeveloped, and dormant. They're less able to develop Iwa Pele, gentle character, and Iwa Rei Rei, good character, both of which are necessary in order to be active in bringing about the good condition. But when you are filled with this most powerful form of love, primordial love, you're able to call up love, creativity, sacrifice, commitment, empathy, compassion and achievement in yourself and in others. The capacity to feel the aspect of the ashe that is love is a gift for which you and I should be grateful. Your love is a treasure that you should both guard and share.
Many Ifa devotees come to the priest, but allows the priestesses to consult regarding relationship problems and matters of the heart. Underlying many relationship problems and matters of the heart is an attempt to extend love outward before it is firmly rooted inward. Understanding the origin and source of your capacity to experience love, Isopo, connection, is a first step towards solving social and intimate relationship problems. Where else could love come from except from source? If source is, in fact, and it is, or we soon is the source of everything, then there's nothing that you and I experience that cannot be attributed to source at or at its origin. And so understanding where love comes from, that your your capacity to love is part of your divine creation, part of your original self, is the first step towards being able to solve relationship problems and being able to uh, um, fulfill the, the essential requirement for raising healthy children. Now, an important next step is to exercise your power over the second great gift that uh, you and I have been given, another one of your capacities that cannot be commanded, the capacity to forgive, which we'll discuss in part two of this video. Hopefully you've gotten something from this, you go over it and reflect on it, and we say for Kanbele, peace of mind from Olugumade. Ajo lo, ajo bo, we go out together, we return together. Ashe, ashe, ashe.